Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett, and in this week's lesson titled Moods of Weather, we've been talking about how artists all over the world are sometimes so in awe with uh, the beauty and sometimes scary weather that we experience that they make beautiful pictures that show sunny days, wind, rainbows, and other weather events. So we're going to be painting our own weather event on our own paper today. So what you're going to need for today's project is a big piece of paper. You're going to need paint. I've got the primary colors plus black and white. You will need a brush and some water, a paper towel. You might want to use a plastic painting comb. And each one of these, if you notice, has a different edge on the bottom. So think about what kind of edge you want to comb into your painting. And you might want to use a little sponge brush. I'm going to use a sponge attached to a clothespin for mine and a scrap piece of paper so we can practice using all these different brushes and see how they work. So there's a couple of things I want you to think about before we get started. Is your artwork going to be tall or is it going to be wide? Yeah, where will you place the sky and the land in your picture? Will you include large plants or buildings in your picture? And where are you going to put them in your picture? And what mood will you show in your painting? What types of colors and lines will you use to create that mood? So I'm gonna show you how to use the brushes and the sponges and how to pull a wet comb through paint on our scrap paper. And you'll have some time to practice as well. So let's get started. All right, friends, so let's talk about brushes. So brushes come in two main shapes. They come in a flat shape like this, and they come in a round shape. And then, of course, they come in many different sizes. So let's practice just any color is fine. Let's practice making some lines and shapes. So this is what the round brush looks like. Let's try to make the same type of line with the flat. Let's try it with the small brushes. Here's the round small. And here's the flat small. Excellent. Now let's try the sponge. We could take our sponge, we're going to dip it in water, squeeze out the extra, just like that, and then we can dip it in a color and see how that works. Oh wow, look at that type of line. So that makes some really cool texture. What if we just use the edge? Wow, that's a way different type of mark. We could also take one of our bigger brushes and put a big blob of paint down. And then we can take one of our paint scrapers and look at the kind of shapes that that makes. You need a lot more paint to move it around with the comb, right guys? So practice when you get a chance make, using all the different brushes that we're gonna have today. And I'm gonna get started on our big picture. The first thing we're gonna do is, after we've decided is it gonna be wide or tall, is we're going to plan the spaces. That's gonna be um, where, the, where we're gonna put the sky and the land, and if we're gonna put plants or buildings, where are they gonna be? Let's get started on that. Here we go. So the first line we're gonna put down is the horizon line where the sky touches the ground. And then I think I'm gonna make buildings in this picture and um, some plants. So I'm gonna finish drawing this and you can watch. Here we go. All 
All right, friends, here is my drawing. I went ahead and I raced where things were overlapping or in front of other things because you can't see through uh, what's in front from what's behind. So we want to make sure we don't make those mistakes. Now we're going to use our brush and paint a color for the sky and a color for our big areas. Let's get started. Oh, you also want to think about what kind of mood you're showing. So is it a bright sunny day? Is it a stormy day? Is it raining? Is it windy? Think about that as you're working and think about that as you use and make your colors. Let's get started. All right, friends, I just painted my sky. I want you to paint your sky first. And then while that's drying, we're going to start working on the rest of the picture. Here we go. All right, friends, so I finished painting all my main objects. Now I'm going to think about um, the type of mood I'm going to show. So I haven't made any weather yet. I've just painted with all my different brushes. I hope you try a lot of different brushes today, too, and experiment and see what they can do for you. So I think for my picture, I'm going to do a windy, rainy day. So I'm going to add more paint and try some different brushes. I think I'm gonna use a comb in the sponge to create the wind in the rain. So you can watch me use the, uh, the sponge and the comb and let's get started. All right, friends, here is my completed moods of weather picture. I made a windy, stormy day in the city. You could make a bright, sunny day. You could make rainbows. You could make snow. Really, the possibilities are endless. I cannot wait to see what kind of weather you make. And these are going to turn out so cool. Let's get started.